everything surrounding the COVID-19 strain of the coronavirus can have a huge effect on people's mental health. Joining us live via Skype this morning with some tips is mental toughness expert and author of The Emotional Marine, Eric Rittmeyer. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Eric. Thanks for having me, Jackie. It's great to be here. And we all know during this time, physical fitness is important. It can help us. But talk about how important our emotional health is right now. Yeah, this is one of the main problems I see with everything that's happening right now. We're putting so much emphasis on the physical health piece of it, which obviously does deserve our attention. But the emotional piece is what we really have to pay attention to as well, especially for our children. This is a really difficult time. It's a scary time. It's really the equivalent to their 9-11, if you think about it. I mean, they don't know what's going on there. They hear schools are closing, that there's no food left in the store. We have to be very sensitive to our kids' emotions. And what are some things we can talk about our kids when it comes to our kids' emotions? I know we have to be sensitive, so how can we approach this topic with them? Yeah, I think it starts with full disclosure, Jackie. We have to make certain that they're getting good, concrete information. I mean, with the with social media these days, we have to be very careful because they're getting information from all these different places, and they're not reliable sources. So the most important piece, I think, is to have conversations with our kids and to make certain we give them good information. Because, again, if they go looking for it out in the social media world, they're going to find ways to eat laundry detergent and other things. But we have to make sure that their, their emotions are taken care of as well because it's a scary time for them. And I know it may be hard for people to find them right now, but are there any positives we can take away from this pandemic? Yeah, there really are, I think. I mean, I, I view this as kind of an opportunity to teach our kids a sense of altruism, you know, a way to say it, it's bigger than just you, it's bigger than just me. This is a way for us all to work together. And, you know, major issues we've had in the past, we've proven as a nation that when in times of, of difficulty, we come together, we work through this. And I think that showing our kids that we can do things to help others, it's a big piece of, again, teaching them this togetherness that we're missing right now. So on the other end of this, I'm hoping we do learn that it is capable, it is possible for us to all work together, and hopefully we can learn to start loving our neighbor again, because we seem to be missing that lately. Very true. And when it comes to the environment we live in, how can we separate the truth from fiction and what's not so true right now? It all, it all starts with making certain that we have good information, because again, if we just view what we see on social media, if we just listen to what people tell us without actually confirming it, it gets to be difficult. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that we're going to be absolutely shut down for the next month. You hear all these different things. Kids hear it, they believe it. So we really have to use our brain to say, okay, is this really factual? I should probably do some more research. Like Ronald Reagan said, trust but verify. And I know for most of us, this is the first time in our lifetime we're living through something like this. But what has history taught us about the importance of relying on our relationships in a time like this? It's what gets us through, Jackie, and that's the key. I mean, that's we have to rely on our friendships. Relationships are very important, and that's the whole thing about the social distancing. You know, I think we can remain physically distant, but also remain socially connected. It's going to be real important for everybody to make certain that we do check in with people who maybe have already were suffering from some sort of isolation prior to this. This can really push them over the edge. So it's critically important that we communicate with each other. Although we're not physically together, we can still remain socially connected. All right, Eric, thank you so much for joining us on Fox 43 Morning News. We will have a bunch more information. You can head on to our website, fox43.com. And Fox 43.